feel the need. So there's some buzz about hidden Easter eggs, suggesting that revisiting the original Top Gun's cut ending could fit right into Top Gun 3. Let's dive into all the latest scoop on what's cooking with the Maverick sequel. It's no secret that fans were clamoring for more after Tom Cruise rocked the skies in Top Gun Maverick. I mean, who wouldn't want to see Captain Pete Maverick Mitchell back in action? The demand for a third Top Gun movie was off the charts, especially after the huge success of Maverick. The film brought Maverick back into the spotlight, training a new batch of top-tier pilots in Fighter Town, USA. And let's not forget those jaw-dropping aerial shots and the nostalgic throwbacks to the original Top Gun. It was like a blast from the past with a modern twist. Maverick soared at the box office, raking in a cool $1.4 billion worldwide and becoming one of the hottest hits of 2022. But even with all that success, Top Gun 3 didn't rush into production. It took until 2024 for any real news to drop about the next chapter in Maverick's story. With that being said, why did the ending of Maverick resonate so deeply with audiences? Well, it's all about that perfect balance between the old and the new. The conclusion of Top Gun Maverick delivered that classic satisfying closure that fans of the original film craved while injecting it with fresh, electrifying energy thanks to its stunning cinematography and well-placed narrative. And what made the ending click was its straightforward approach. Instead of throwing in last-minute twists, the film set up its stakes early on, steadily built towards its climax, and then delivered on its promises. It tied up the character arcs in a way that paid homage to beloved figures like Goose and Iceman, while also paving the way for Maverick's future, all while leaving audiences with a sense of closure and contentment. While Maverick certainly taps into the nostalgia of the 80s, it paradoxically stands out by embracing its formulaic roots and staying true to the grand storytelling style of its era. And the massive success of the film at the box office is a testament to the fact that audiences still crave that classic, formula-based storytelling. But can Top Gun 3 ever hope to reach the same heights as its predecessor? With a fresh cast and new challenges awaiting Maverick, there's certainly potential for more thrilling sequels. However, replicating the critical and commercial triumph of Maverick will undoubtedly be a tough task. Yet if there's one thing Maverick proved, it's that the sky's the limit when it comes to reviving beloved franchises. With the stage set by Maverick's conclusion, the possibility of a Top Gun 3 emerges, ripe with potential for new adventures and character developments. While the ending of Maverick offers closure, it also hints at a continuation of the saga, leaving fans eager for more. One intriguing avenue for a sequel is to shift the focus to the next generation of pilots. Characters like Rooster and Hangman, introduced in Maverick, have already established themselves as compelling figures who could carry the franchise forward. With the addition of other fresh faces like Phoenix and Bob, there's ample opportunity for a buddy action movie-style narrative that explores the dynamics of this new ensemble. Yet even as the torch is passed to a new generation, there's room for Tom Cruise's Maverick to play a vital role. Much like the Creed films honored Rocky Balboa while focusing on Adonis Creed, Top Gun could continue to weave Maverick into the fabric of the story, this time in a mentor capacity. As he grapples with the legacy of Goose's death and contemplates his future within the Navy, Maverick's character arc could take on new dimensions, offering a compelling subplot within the larger narrative. Alternatively, if the sequel chooses to keep Maverick at the forefront, there are intriguing possibilities to explore. Maverick's potential advancement within the Navy and his confrontation with the realities of drone warfare present rich avenues for storytelling. Watching Maverick navigate the complexities of leadership after years of bucking against authority could provide a fresh angle for Top Gun 3, offering both character-driven drama and high-flying action. In the upcoming Top Gun 3, Maverick's iconic rebellious nature might transform. With Goose and Iceman no longer around to temper his impulsiveness, Maverick may find himself in a new role, one of responsibility and mentorship rather than being the hot-headed renegade we've come to know. This shift could lead to a compelling character arc for Maverick as he grapples with his evolving role in the Navy and confronts his issues with authority. 
One character who could benefit from the spotlight in Top Gun 3 is John Hamm's Cyclone. Despite being underused in Top Gun Maverick, Cyclone has the potential to play a significant role in the sequel. As Maverick's new confidant and wingman, Cyclone could forge a bond with Maverick akin to his friendship with Iceman, providing both camaraderie and support in the face of new challenges. Additionally, Maverick's mortality looms large over Top Gun 3. With Goose and Iceman meeting tragic ends in previous installments, Maverick's demise becomes a real possibility. The existence of Top Gun 3 suggests that Maverick survived the events of the sequel, but as a seasoned veteran facing heightened stakes, his mortality becomes more pronounced. This raises the possibility of a dramatic conclusion for Maverick's character, adding layers of tension and emotion to the narrative. In Top Gun 3, the relationship between Maverick and Rooster takes on heightened significance. Miles Teller's Rooster, being Goose's son, already played a central role in Top Gun Maverick as Maverick projected his guilt over Goose's death onto him. With Iceman gone, Rooster may step into the role of Maverick's new wingman, becoming his closest co-worker and a pivotal player in the franchise. Additionally, Top Gun 3 presents an opportunity to address the original ending of Top Gun. While the sequel sidestepped the somber tone of Maverick visiting Goose's grave, it can now revisit this narrative thread by having Maverick pay respects to both Goose and Iceman. This would provide a more fitting tribute to Maverick's fallen colleagues and allow him to seek guidance from their spirits. Furthermore, the absence of Iceman in Top Gun Maverick opens the door for the return of other original movie stars, such as Tom Skerritt's Viper. As Maverick's mentor and a familiar figure from their early days, Viper could offer support and comfort to Maverick as he copes with Iceman's loss. Viper's return could also provide practical assistance to Maverick in his ongoing struggles with authority, serving as a valuable ally in the Navy. Top Gun 3 has the opportunity to revisit and improve upon the deleted ending from the original Top Gun movie. In this alternate ending, Maverick visits Goose's grave after his successful mission and reunion with Charlie. While this scene was emotionally powerful, it added a sad note to the otherwise upbeat tone of the film. However, with the recent events in Top Gun Maverick, including Iceman's death, Maverick could now visit the graves of both Goose and Iceman in the sequel. Unlike the original ending, where Maverick blamed himself for Goose's death, in Top Gun 3, Maverick would seek guidance from his fallen comrades rather than dwell on his guilt. By visiting both graves, Maverick acknowledges the importance of their influence on his life and seeks their wisdom as he faces new challenges. While the exact plot of Top Gun 3 remains unknown, it's unlikely that Maverick will continue to torment himself over Goose's death. Instead, the sequel could portray Maverick's visit to the graves to honor his friends and draw strength from their memory. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below.